Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> trash, <laughs> trash. Before I can get my first sentence out, Bo James already tell them folks how it is. And one of those folks he's telling is lemon juice here. Well, well, Bo James speaks their language. He's a piece of garbage himself, just like all the people here. Corey Static. Corey Static is quite, quite the athlete. Well, I, I, have, I have full faith. I have, look at this. Look at this. Technical prowess. Right. Oh, yeah. And Bo James showing technical prowess. This, this is not legal at all. Immediately taking him down, working on that arm. Oh, my goodness. Bo James really... Showing folks how it's done as he stops on the hand of Corey Static. Folks, thank you for joining us here on the program. Hey, come kiss it for I'm busy on commentary, Bo James. I don't have time to, to do the things you ask. Of course, we've got this is an AMW heavyweight championship tournament matchup. Bo James in with the side headlock applied. And later on in the program, you will see from fire on the mountain, Heat Seekers versus Rock and Roll Express, and oh my goodness. Bo James with the Tennessee 1 2 right there upside with the a, head. A one two, it's a blatant closed fist. Bo says it was an open fist. Okay, Bo says, Bo says it's got to be open handed. Like, like Bo doesn't know. Has he been hitting the head so many times he can't even remember the rules of wrestling? So here we go. Oh. oh my goodness. And again, Corey Static. He's got can be holding it by the Oh my these are, goodness. These are openly blatant cheating tactics by Bo James. The referees do it nothing. The people are watching on, condoning it. And, and I know you would never condone never anything underhanded. Never. Any, nothing underhanded. I'm, I'm, a man of, I'm a man of truth, righteousness, and education. I honestly don't make enough money for this. So here we oh, go, what? folks. I mean, Bo, all he did was, uh, was adjust his headband uh, there. That's adjusted. all he's doing. He, That's all he's doing. He blinded man. him bird box style, and now he's choking him out. Corey Static's bird box challenge not looking so good at this point. Bo James just teeing off, but he oh, comes we go. up empty. There we go. Corey Static signs of life here and immediately starts putting the boots to the king of king sport. Shot upside the head. Is that a close fist, Lemon? That's, that's, that's obviously open hand. We oh, can't see I'll for sure. Oh, right, I'm sure it was an accidental. Referee up to a four count. Out, breaks the hold himself. Corey Static about to get himself, himself eliminated. Oh, and Bo James immediately downstairs, upstairs. One, two. Send Static into the ropes and into the ground. Folks. Oh. Count to 10, this one is over. What? What? Bo James wins it. What? Hey. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, you're winning by pitfall, Bo James. And folks, Bo James grabbing the whip after putting a whipping. On Corey Static, folks, we'll be right back on Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. Kyle Maggard here with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, the premier wrestling organization in Southeast Kentucky. No, no, Southeast United States. Now, our offices get flooded with questions day in and day out about how you can get your Appalachian Mountain Wrestling merchandise. Well, I'm here to tell you now, you can go to ebay.com, search Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, find our online store there. You can get your own Appalachian Mountain Wrestling shirt that I'm wearing. You can get all of our special DVD tapings, whether it's Thanksgiving Turmoil, Hardwired, Weekends of Champion, Summer Bash. Get your special superstar photos. 
get them signed, get them unsigned. Prices may vary, but the pro all the products are the same, and that's simply the best because we're Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, and we're making wrestling great again. Are you a member of a church group? Are you a member of a sports team, local school, volunteer fire department, or any other nonprofit? Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling for a fundraiser to bring money to your organization. Have some fun, a night of professional wrestling, fun for the entire family, earn some money. Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling and help make. Folks standing here with Sean Cruz, Lemon Juice McGee, and Cruz, you're getting ready. Second round matchup in the AMW Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Kyle, I've made you a victim before. I'll make you a victim again, and I'm going to be the AMW Heavyweight Champion. Juice, we're going to be rich. That's right, bringing home the gold. The gold to Lemon Juice McGee and the Legion of Juice. Like I've said all along, we've got Sean Cruz. We've got all kinds of players in the game. People they don't even know about. I know, right? But we don't have to worry about it. Sean, Sean's got it in the bag. In the bag. The bag. Folks, I'm here with Kyle Nagger getting ready for a big matchup in the AMW Heavyweight Championship <laughs> Tournament against Sean Cruz. Kyle, uh, no stranger to AMW Tournament victories. What are you thinking about this one? Well, you know, it's funny. Sean Cruz. You know, Sean Cruz is affiliated with Lemon Juice McGee. And wasn't it back at Thanksgiving turmoil, Lemon Juice McGee put a bounty on my head. So many thousands of dollars in that government ham or something to take me out. Because he knows, he knows Kyle Maggard is the single biggest threat to anybody in the tournament, especially any one of his legionnaires of winning that AMW Heavyweight Championship. And it's funny, do you know who cashed in on that bounty? Stan Sierra. And I just happened to look at the bracket the other day. Stan Sierra is on the other side. Now, I am never one to pull for Stan Sierra to win anything, but just this one time, Nathan, I'm hoping and I'm praying that Stan Sierra wins out and I can meet him in the finals. And oh, how sweet that'll be. What a sweet victory that'll be. Kyle Maggard winning the AMW Heavyweight Championship from arguably my biggest rival, ever in the history of the sport. So, Sean Cruz, Lemon Juice McGee, you better be ready, because Kyle Maggard is, Stan Sierra, oh boy, we ain't done yet. No, 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 not by. The Hazard Village Flea Market, located at 368 Doll Hair Drive, the National Guard Armory, is open Saturday and Sunday. Our facility is loaded with a huge selection of vendors. Call 606 439-2529 today to find out how you can become a vendor. Space is available both inside and outside our facility. Don't wait another second. Call today, join our family, and let's headlock the competition together. Hope you're the Nissan decision maker. This may be the smartest decision ever. Nissan has new radar technology. It can brake for you front and back, and it even has your blind spot covered. You can shop $13 million worth of inventory and save on $3 million worth of discounts. And remember, there's the 48-hour exchange. Nissan, I know you're smart, but I have high school chemistry. So if you can help, just blink. Oh, yeah. Folks, I'm here with Sexy Stan Sierra, who is Part of this AMW Heavyweight Championship Tournament got his eyes set on the prize battle. On the other side of that bracket, Kyle Maggard still running through opponents as well. You know, Nathan Little, the very first time that there was a tournament for the AMW Heavyweight Championship, Kyle Maggard won. But in the very same night, I pinned his shoulders one, two, three to the mat, and I become the AMW Champion. Now, if I could have my preference, somehow, some way, I hope that me and Kyle Maggard meet in this tournament because I'm going to finish that punk off once and for all. I'm going to go on and win the AMW Heavyweight Championship, and it ain't going to be the nice stand that was before. It's going to be a stand Sierra that's going to be ruthless, 
It's going to be a Stancier that is going to go on a title run like has never been seen before in these Appalachian Mountains. So if I was you and everybody else out in TV land, I'd put my money on Stan Sierra. Here we go, folks. I'm here with the Mega Destroyer Lemon Juice McGee, a Mega Destroyer. Another run in with Bo James on the docket, and this time in the AMW Heavyweight Championship Tournament. You can ask him. No, I'm just kidding. He can't talk. Look, Bo James, we just, we just dealt with you in Barbable. Ah, uh, well, of course, our cleverness won that. Sadly, this isn't a Bo James hair coat. But in the next round, next round coming up of the AMW Heavyweight Championship Tournament, my Mega Destroyer is moving on, moving on. Steamrolling, Bo James. He's going to go after that gold. He's going to get that gold. That's right. Because he, uh, even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't, and you might not, but even if he doesn't, the Legion of Juice is going to get it because I've got people all over this thing. It's perfect. Perfect. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Korokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow. The wrestling brand. Are you a member of a church group? Are you a member of a sports team, local school, volunteer fire department, or any other nonprofit? Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling for a fundraiser to bring money to your organization. Have some fun, a night of professional wrestling, fun for the entire family, earn some money. Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling and help make. And here we go, folks. Heat Seekers challenging for the Appalachian Mountain Wrestling Heavyweight Championship here in Barberville, Kentucky at Fire on the mountain and their opponents you've heard of them you've seen them you know their reputation the rock and roll express the appalachian mountain wrestling champions of the tag team division hall of famers there's the music returning to barberville for the first time in decades and listen to that crowd These guys, these guys have won tag team gold everywhere they've gone. I believe the last time they were in Barberville was with Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Rock and roll, rock and roll. And Ricky Morton entering the ring and having a little fun here with the crowd in Barberville. Getting those belts on the line. Heat seekers. Maybe the most decor well, definitely the most decorated tag team to face the Rock and Roll Express here in Appalachian Mountain Wrestling. And the crowd. Always loves the Rock and Roll Express. Sigmund Elliott. Take a trip outside the ring.
Announcements have been made. Next thing's next. Let's ring that bell and get things going here in Barberville, Kentucky. Crowd excited. And the Heat Seekers, I'm sure they're excited to get their hands on the Rock and Roll Express to get some more tag team gold. And the Rock and Roll Express excited to defend these belts. These guys, both of these tag teams, no strangers to fights, and they are here to go to war. Sigmund Elliott saying they're not going to show their hand first, so it's going to be Robert Gibson in the ring first for the Rock and Roll Express, and it looks like he's going to take on Elliott to start things off. Ref giving the signal. Bell rings. We're off and running. Championship matchup. They lock horns and Robert Gibson quickly taking Sigmund into the corner, having to break. Taking Elliott into the corner, excuse me. Gibson taking the back. Full Nelson applied and a little, little tickle there for good measure. Elliot incensed. He is in there with an absolute warrior with decades of experience. And Robert Gibson at once again taking the back. Misses on the haymaker attempt. Elliot, Elliot gets to the rope. Gibson goes in again, they lock horns at Elliott. The bigger, oh. These two men trading bombs. Gibson winning that exchange, slinging Elliott into the corner, comes in with the big clothesline. And the veterans got Elliott on the ropes, literally as he tags in Ricky Morton with the stomp to the foot. This one's been all Rock and Roll Express early here at Fire on the Mountain. Chance of rock and roll rarely subsided since Ricky and Robert made their way to the ring. And now, Sigmund. Going to get his hands dirty. They lock up. Ricky Morton quickly takes the wrist of the younger wrestler. Elliot tried to get involved for a second. A 
Morton dodges the running attack there from Sigmund and then goes right back to that wrist. Putting pressure on the shoulder and Elliott comes out to try to take a, took a fits to something, Ricky said, and maybe cost his team a little bit there. Robert Gibson back in the driver's seat now. And now Ricky's back. Sigmund trying to get to the ropes for a break. But Morton has him in the middle of the ring. Sigmund sends him off the ropes, but I think Elliott got him. And now the Heat Seekers starting to get their groove. May have been pulled down by the hair there. Morton begging the crowd. Oh, and the kip up by Morton, but he falls immediately, gets drugged back down to the ground. The tag to Sigmund. Here we go. Ricky Morton up to a knee. Morton getting his arm wrenched, but he almost looks like he likes it, calling for the crowd. Oh, but pulled back down to the ground again. Morton loves a fight. Oh, but Sigmund. Back to that arm of Ricky Morton. And Morton lays out Sigmund with the right hand. And Sigmund on the ropes, but comes back with the shoulder. Shoulder and elbow running full speed into Morton. Both men down. Where do we go from here? Both men need a tag. Sigmund misses, Gibson comes in, and Gibson nailing anything that moves and taking down the Heat Seekers. One on two as he's the freshest man in. Gibson got the sleeper hold in, but Sigmund gets him from behind. And now Morton taking it to Elliott. Two on two now. Morton gets the leg up on Sigmund. Big knee, this could be it. They got him alone, Sigmund. He's got his foot on the ropes. No! Sigmund just pinned Ricky Morton. And if the ref didn't see it, folks, We've got new tag champs, and that looks like it's the case. Sigmund, with his feet on the ropes, pins Ricky Morton. And the Heat Seekers, your new champs. And 
And there they are, folks. Knew it would take a special performance to take those belts off the waist of the rock and roll, but it took a little bit extra from the heat seekers here in Barberville, Kentucky. All right, Hoot. Everybody out there has seen just what happened when the Heat Seekers, understand me, Heat Seekers, you did not beat the Rock and Roll Express. But I'm not out here crying over spilled milk. What I'm out here talking about is I'm going to the president. You know, the president, not the United States, not Donald Trump. I'm going to Scott Diamond. I'm going to go see Scott Diamond, and I'm going to, and I'm going to stooge on y'all. I'm going to tell it. I'm going to tell on you, fella, because you understand by putting your feet on the ropes and you call yourself tag team champions. Really? You see, guys, we are fighting champions. We put them up every night. You're going to hide, hide behind them when you don't got to defend them. But I promise you, the next time you see the Rock and Roll Express, wherever we're at in Kentucky, we come and take our belts back. I promise you that. Breaking news. New AMW Tag Team Champions. We said we were going to do it, so we did it. Heat Seekers up on the Rock and Roll Express. Just like the Midnight's always beat you Rock and Roll Express, the Heat Seekers got the job done tonight. And that's why this gold is going home with the Heat Seekers. You want a rematch? You want to talk about how you're going to call the president and get a rematch? Well, if you so get a rematch, same outcome, Rock and Roll Express. Rock and Roll Express, losers, heat seekers, always winners.